Hey guys, welcome back. I know I've said in the previous tutorial that it will be smaller, but I, it just turned out to be the same. I mean, not the same, just two minutes less. But I'm so sorry for making this video so big. Uh, it might, I mean, I, I tried. Okay, enough talking. I shouldn't make this one big either. Alright, so finally we're moving on to controller testing. It's also very easy. It's very similar to the directives, but I would say it's easier than directives. It's very similar. Just the only thing that differs in both directive and controller is this part, this part over here. The before each part is the is a thing that's different for both. All right, so let's just copy out uh, this because it's sort of similar. I don't want to repeat the code again and again. So this is post controller. All right, so you have. You don't have a con directive controller, but you have a normal controller. You don't need a compile variable. You need a scope, but you don't need an element. You need Q because you also have a spy here. Spy For spy, we're going to use Q. Uh, you don't need this particular result. We'll come to that later. All right, so we have post service. We don't need compile. We have we need dollar root scope because every time we may, we test a controller or a directive, we always have to instantiate uh, scope like this. So this part is same. This part, nope. And uh, this part is also not there. So the thing that's different here is um, we have a controller equal we have a controller variable right so we have dollar controller we like we have to specify the controller for example what we did with directive control we just wrote element because the 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 controller that we're getting from the directive is from the element the element is the attribute the html attribute right the post attribute that from there we're getting the controller but here it's a different story so here we're we're getting it from uh oops yeah, we're getting it from the post controller controller function it's a callback and here we need some things from the controller we need the scope dollar scope which is this part so we don't need that line we need this and we need something else we need state params dollar state params dollar state params params All right so the dollar state params is a part of the controller because we're getting it from the controller routing while we are making the change from one controller to another controller the transition when it's happening we need the state params variable so that's why the state params is injected over here instead of outside because it's part of it's very dependent on the controller all right so we need some posts but what we need some, some spies i mean not posts so the spies that we need are get post and delete post these are the spies that we need so we have get post and the result for get post will be so var result one equal um it's an object right get post is basically one object so title dummy body text oops okay so it's raining pretty hard so i kind of got distracted anywho so you expect the first spy to return and resolve uh result one oops and the second spy let's just copy this out which is the delete post spy and for that the result 2 so var result 2 equal removed true this is what you expect that it's successfully removed and it returns this object or something similar to it and you resolve it to result 2 all right and um what else do we have so we have the spies yeah that's it we don't need a scope.digest here because we're not compiling the uh the the directive we're just basically instantiating the controller all right here also we can the best factors is to of course reset the uh, spies so let's just copy this out 
after each call we want to reset the spies delete post all right so and the first like the first thing that you expect is that it should check if the post ID is properly defined or not so you want to check if it should check if post ID is is defined why are we checking this first is because on like this post ID is kind of like the main depending like everything de kind of depends on this post ID as you can see the get post call depends on this the delete post calls depend on depend on this and if the post ID is not properly returned then this page wouldn't be rendered in the rendered in the first place so the post ID is a main factor that defines everything so you want to check if controller well you want to first check if the controller is defined then you want to check if the controller dot id dot to equal like vm dot id remember we declared a vm dot id so you want to check if it if it's actually properly instantiated by the state params dot id if the state data params dot id is properly given to it then this control dot id is correctly rendered so that's the first thing you should check the second thing you should check is the onload function does the onload function is called at the beginning so the onload function does the same thing like this the controller dot onload here it's controller so controller dot onload uh, it's actually it's better if you give the scope dot digest after this it's the same thing actually you could also give it there or you could have it here it's the same thing and uh, yeah you want to check if the get post not posts is properly called and here you just you just assigning it to the object so you basically want to check if the post object is post object right yeah if the post object dot let's see if the post object dot title equals dummy because that will be the one that's returned to you that's the object that's going to return to you dot t to equal dummy all right so we're done with the onload function and the next one that we have is the delete function we have the delete function so the delete function let's just write here it should fetch post this one is it should fetch post a post and this one it should delete a post not a it's the post that's returned to you and uh, this is delete all right so this one the service is delete post and uh, yeah you want you expect the removed it's not directive control oops kind of forgot to replace that it's controller controller dot removed dot here here you just expect if it's true so to be truthy okay now let's test it out I hope everything goes fine because I don't know if I have forgotten to replace anything let's see uh, we ran into an error over here so this one is in line number 23 okay so we ran into okay I can't figure out what the error is let me check guys I figured out the problem that I was having so basically after a bit of shuffling around the controller the controller this thing this um, entity was not this dependency was not injected so I had to inject it in our module in my in my test so we have to inject the controller function this controller variable like how we injected the compile dollar compile in case of directive we have for, for controller we have to inject dollar controller so I forgot to inject this and second of all this spy can't be happening after the controller has been instantiated it has to happen before the reason is that like whenever as soon as the controller is instantiated it tries to uh, it tries to execute the functions that it has in the controller for example the function that this has is the onload function that is instantiated as soon as the controller has uh, in, as soon as the controller is instantiated the onload function gets called 
So that's why whenever if we if we put the spy after this, that that time the spy has already been taking place. That's and and that is why the all the other tests tests tend, tend to fail. Okay, so let me rephrase this again. Whenever we instantiate the controller over here, here we just basically saying that the post controller all of the stuff in the post controller should be should be transferred into this variable all right so whenever this is like instantiating a controller it's like calling a constructor okay so whenever this controller is instantiated it tries to execute the first function that the controller has called and the, the first function the controller calls is the onload function so it tries to execute that now if we don't and if we don't spy before the controller is called what happens is the call, the actual call takes place, the actual uh, service call takes place and that's why it gives an error and the rest of the tests tend to fail. So that's why what we need to do is we need to spy before the controller is instantiated every time and then we do the rest of the stuff as usual. Another thing that I removed from the test is that remember I gave a dot removed to be truthy. Uh, I'm sorry, the, it's, it's raining pretty hard. <laughs> anyway, so we need to remove the dot removed because bind the dot removed to the controller anywhere like for example this one we bound the object the data that's returned uh, the VM dot post object the VM it's bound to the controller but this one we didn't bound we didn't bind this dot removed towards anywhere we just change the state immediately after the invoking this function successfully all right so that's why we don't need that anywho let's run the test successfully because as you can see all the 10 tests are success uh, let's just run it in front of you again and yeah it's a success again so the directive the controller and the service tests are successfully running now I'm not going to show you how the published controller fun uh, tests work because they're very similar it's the same principle that applies you have to inject the module you have to inject the dependencies you have to spy on the functions that are called you call the function then you expect that the spy is called successfully and then whatever other stuff that you did or other data manipulation that you did inside the inside the service call you check for that you you assert those you assert those tests and yeah that's basically it so i'll see you baby in the next series i think this is this marks the end of the mean stack tutorial series i mean you saw how the main finished product looks like uh give some feedback if you have in the next series maybe i'll start with python because python is amazing <laughs> and i'm i'm learning react i'm in the process of learning react so i'll also try to do something with react something production ready of course i believe that i should like i believe my principle is that i want to make series on those stuff that uh, um, that will help you make stuff uh, that you can push to production easily like you can make you can make apps you can make softwares you, you don't like it's not like I'm gonna teach you how to write small code snippets of angular JS that I expect you to know from the beginning of the series but if you want to make a production ready app with unit testing proper software engineering coding conventions and everything that's followed then the series is your holy grail i would say so yeah give a thumbs up if you like this series um uh, and kind of like maybe check out my github like repo for this uh like keep on uh, stay updated with this github repo because i'm gonna be giving some uh deployment codes as well later on it's still ongoing like uh the process is still ongoing i'm also learning react i also have office work so yeah <laughs> juggling lots of stuff together i'll see you in the next series and good luck